So here you can see that I got a structure and let's say I want to know its dimensions. And for that we have dimensioning tools. To access the tools, I'm going to go over here onto the left side and as you scroll, you can see that there's dimensioning and engineering. So once I click that, you can see that I got dimensional tools right here. So I have vertical baseline, horizontal baseline and things like that. I can also know the radius of uh, the things that I want. So I'm going to go with the simple one. Let's say for example, I want vertical and horizontal dimensions of this room right here. So I'm going to go for horizontal. So I'm just going to click and drag it around in this section right here. And you can see that there's a dimension. So I'm going to zoom uh, over onto this section. So I'm just going to use my scroll mouse and you can see that there's a dimension right there. So I'm just going to drag this down. Right. And this is quite uh, not according to the alignment. So I'm just going to drag the horizontal tool right here. So let me drag it onto the dimension right here. And I'm going to increase the size of the dimension over here by clicking on the screen uh, dot right here. So I'm going to drag in the dimension and you can see that this is dimension. That's 7,000 uh, millimeters right there or 7.1 meters right there. There you go. So you can also increase this and it actually comes up with an arrow for the dimension just like that. So I'm, this is my horizontal dimension right here. I can also go for a vertical dimension. So I'm just going to drag it around over here. Let's drag it around till the end. Just drag it around till the end. Drag around over here and this dimension right over here. Let me just click and drag it and this dimension. I can also go over here and see is this dimension over here. Just click and drag it so that I can connect it out. And you can see that this is a dimension over here. So this is around. Uh, let me just click it and drag it around so that it um, snaps into place uh, just like that. And you can see that this is around 11,000, uh, 1100 meter, um, millimeter or 11, uh, 11 meters right here. So this is the dimension that I have over here. You can also go for the radius. So you can go for radius outside diameter and so forth. So let me just go for a radius right here. And you can see that the radius in around this point is around 250 right here. It's 250 meter right here. I can also go over here, change around the point. So let's say, let's calculate the radius of this door point right here. So let me just drag it, drag this out, click and drag over here. So let me uh, measure the door. Let me measure the door area right here. So the radius is 250 as you can see. So the door moves around a radius of 250 uh, millimeters right there or two meters, 2.5 meters right there. So that is how you can use the dimensional tools to measure uh, you know, measure individual objects inside of uh, the floor plan in Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.